Hi, just a quick video on how to set up a 3D drawing. We want to be working in ISO view. We want to set our snaps correctly, uh, which I will show you here in just a minute. Polar tracking needs to be set to 45. And here's our entity snaps. They need to be set three ways. Endpoint, center, and node need to be turned on. You can access those to the lower right near the clock polar and e-track just by right clicking on those. Here's our y direction, our x direction, and the z direction although if you draw a line in the z direction just normally with polar turned on uh, you're gonna get a bad result so I'm gonna show you how to use relative uh, input. Okay, here's our line that we just drew and as you can see it's not drawn right. So we want to go into the ISO view again and when we get to a Z direction we need to use the at comma zero zero and then our Z distance which I'm doing here. So here's the, the Z height we just drew 50 units up and here we'll put a valve so we'll just break the line there so we can snap to it later okay so now we're loading up MetQ uh, the pipe fitting dialog and we want to choose the elbows and then we'll go to each of our intersections and we will snap and rotate the elbows as shown Again, another elbow. Choose the center point, the end point of our construction line. We point it into the upflow direction. And then we rotate it. Okay, now we can. Uh, enter in our straight pieces of pipe the same kind of thing uh, we're just entering uh, points over our construction lines we want to snap to the center of the pipe here And again, we choose the straight piece of pipe. We're going to uh, turn on shade. We're going to access the shade mode command and turn off our shading because it. It's kind of slowing down the snapping process, um, so I kind of recommend doing that. Keep in mind too that uh, all these entities that we're drawing are all AutoCAD type entities, so they can be brought right into AutoCAD. So now we're uh, finishing up uh, with the straight pieces of pipe, and we're snapping to the center point and the end point of where our valve will be, uh, or I should say our um, flange. And here we're um, selecting the correct flange, which will be the one at the top. We'll be selecting it from the X there. And it's the same as the pipe. We're just uh, entering in a center uh, snap point and the upflow direction. There'll be several options uh, at the uh, command prompt which you'll need to answer, such as how many uh, bolts and uh, whether or not you want to show the holes and so forth. So keep that in mind. Now we're uh, putting in the valve. And then finally another flange on the other side.
the upload direction and then that completes the valve assembly. Now for the straight piece to finish it off. And that completes the model. Hope this has helped and feel free to ask me any questions you might have.